America's health care is acutely pricey, and the future prognosis is no better. We spent about $3.5 trillion on health care in 2017, averaging about 11000 per person. That'll climb to $6 trillion by 2027, or 17000 a person, according to government projections. Look around the globe. That's nearly twice as much as what is spent in 10 other high-income countries. But all that money isn't a remedy. It really doesn't even ensure quality outcomes. The World Health Organization ranks the U.S. 37th in healthcare systems. When Gallup asked Americans, how do you feel about the system? 45% ranked it worst or below average when compared to other modern industrialized countries. A major concern is cost. So what does make our system, in particular, so pricey? The list is long. Here are some highlights, along with the complexities. Patient responsibility. Do too many of us fail to take care of ourselves? Key factors include diet, obesity, elevated blood pressure, tobacco, and physical inactivity, according to CNN Health. More diseases means more demand on the medical system. More tests, more surgery, more hospitalization, more expense. Administrative cost. A multitude of billing specialists are kept on the payroll because they have to bill each insurance company for each procedure. Far fewer of these workers are needed in countries with a single-payer system. Testing and more testing. Doctors in the U.S. tend to use a lot of tests. CTs, MRIs, a whole range. The U.S. has 35 MRI machines for every million people. France has eight. One theory is that most U.S. healthcare providers make money by running tests. One counterargument is that these tests are often required for unhealthy U.S. patients. Then there's the question of effective doctoring versus excessive doctoring. What is the possibility that that next test, however costly it may be, will be the one to turn up something previously missed? Some doctors want to turn over every stone. Others fear a malpractice suit if they skip a test. Aging. The older people get, the more they need health care. And the more they need health care, the more money is spent. In 2017, people 65 and over accounted for 16% of the U.S. population. That number is going to surpass 20% by 2030. With all this in mind, listen to this sentence from David H. Freeman in The Atlantic. It sums up the medical, cultural, financial loop pretty well. It makes sense that a wealthy nation with unhealthy lifestyles, little interest in preventive care, and expectations of limitless, top-notch, specialist care would empower its healthcare system to accommodate these preferences. So, while the problem of rising American healthcare costs is obvious to all of us, a simple cure isn't quite so easy.